Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be filming a huge, massive haul. Um, this is going to be the biggest haul on my channel by far. I got so much stuff and I am super excited to show you guys. <sighs> I actually just filmed this whole haul, but it wasn't recording. So we're going to go through this haul again and let's just get started. So I finally received my Kylie Cosmetics after a month and two days um, from when I ordered it, which is a really long time, but it's because of the holidays and the weather. So here was the box. I thought it was going to be bigger, the box, for some reason. Um, but anyways, first I got the So Cute Lip Gloss, which is the lightest shade. I want to get all the lip glosses now because the lip gloss was the product I wanted to try the most from her makeup line because Jaclyn Hill raves about her lip glosses and they just look so thick and pigmented and I find it just looks so juicy and yummy on the lips and ooh, I absolutely love it. I'm wearing it today and like I think it makes any person's lips look so juicy. And I wore a darker lip liner because if you don't wear a lip liner, especially one that's darker, you're just gonna look ghostly and have no shape to your lips because it's super light, this shade. Here's a swatch right here in the middle. And when you apply this, I recommend always pressing your lips together because it's a brush applicator. You're gonna get brush strokes um, on your lips. So just always go like this. And don't apply too much on because it's a really thick um, consistency that it's just going to get clumpy. Then I got the Malibu Liquid Lip, which is a cool tone purple shade. Now, when I ordered um, from her website, over half the products were out of stock. And most of her liquid lipsticks were out of stock, um, especially the ones I really wanted to get. So this... It's definitely not my first pick. Um, and I I just really got this because I just really want to try a liquid lip. Um, not that the color isn't nice. It's nice, but just not something I would have really bought for myself. Here is the color. Um, this color is so unique that it just doesn't really go with many eyeshadow looks. I would just wear this with like no eyeshadow or minimal eyeshadow and lashes. So that this just remains the main focus and doesn't clash with anything else on your face um, it's just a normal applicator of a liquid lipstick and the formula is absolutely amazing it would not come off my hand I kept scrubbing it with a makeup wipe and washing my hands and it just would not come off like like I'm gonna like wipe it and like nothing like it's it's on I was super impressed with the formula of the liquid lip for sure then I got a lip liner in brown sugar and it's weird because the color on the, pa uh, on the packaging is auburn and then the color on the lip liner is like a milk chocolate and swatched on my hand right here it's a milk chocolate which i'm fine with because i love a brown lipstick but it's just weird that it's a really different color from the from the box i haven't worn the liquid lipstick or the lip liner out but i have tried them on my lips and I think this is this is really gothic, not something I would wear um, a lot at all, but it's a really cool color. The lip liner is really, really creamy. I really love the formula, and I'm super excited to wear it. And then last, I got the Loose Pigmented Highlighter in Santorini because this is the most liked shade on the internet. Now, okay, swatched on my hand, it's super blinding and super shimmery and i'm wearing it on my skin today and it definitely is super shimmery and blinding i just love the way it looks but it's not as pigmented or glittery as i thought it was going to be like you see how it is on the tip of my nose it's like way more blinding than it is on my cheekbones because when you blend it out it um it just becomes more of a sheen like if you just like dab it on your skin like your nose or something and not really blend it out it's gonna remain like blinding and like ah <laughs> uh, but definitely when you blend it out compared to when you swatch it on your hand um the pigmentation is different but nonetheless it's still really pigmented 
and a super shimmery highlighter and I am impressed. I'm definitely going to be ordering from Kylie Cosmetics again. I really want to get all her glosses, the two other shades. I really wanted the middle shade the most, but they only had the lightest shade in stock. But I'm so happy I got it because it looks great. Um, I'm definitely going to buy the two other glosses and more products from her site, of course. So next, I went to Pharma Pre. I got skincare. I got the Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleanser with Cotton Extract. I've only used this like twice and I like it so far. Um, it hasn't broken me out, but I don't expect a cleanser to break me out the first time I use it. Um, I just don't really get breakouts though. Ever since I graduated from high school um, and turned 17, after that, um, so the last year and a half, I just don't really get um, like a lot of pimples on my face or anything. Like I'll get a pimple here and there, or just really, really small pimples. Um, nothing that I have to worry about. It'll go away like the next day, um, usually. Next, I got the Burt's Bees Peach and Willow Bark Deep Pore Scrub. I always need to have an exfoliator and a cleanser. I cleanse my face in the morning and use an exfoliator at nighttime. Um, I need to use an exfoliator because I have oily skin and it just removes all the oil and dirt in my pores. And I just love an exfoliator. It always makes my skin feel so smooth and look really glowy afterwards. Um, I got the Coco Palmer's Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil, which removes makeup. And I'm pretty sure I've said this on my channel before. I know I have. This has rosehip oil and rosehip oil is really great for scars and this has made my acne scars fade. Um, I do still have them but they're so much more faded than they were like two years ago. This is like my seventh bottle. This is my favorite makeup, makeup remover of all time. I always just come back to this one because it just, it just removes all my makeup the best I find. And again, it just, this is the only product that helps with my acne scars. So I love this product. It's my holy grail. Got this Marcel face powder, this huge powder, and I really like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, it makes my skin look smooth and matte. Um, I baked with it, of course. I've only used it like twice, but I like it so far. You know, no complaints right now. And then, okay, I went to Winners, which is just like a department store that sells name brands for discounted prices. First, I got the Physician's Formula Talc-Free Mineral Wear Mineral Loose Powder, the one I've been using for a while now. I ran out of my other one, so I got another one because I really, really liked it, except this time I got it in Creamy Natural because <coughs> I didn't have translucent. I got a beauty sponge for baking because a lot of YouTubers use a sponge to bake, so I really want to try it out, but I do prefer a powder puff rather than a sponge, I think, because the powder puff... Um, applies more powder um, so I really want to get uh, another powder puff because I threw out the other one because it was so dirty um, then I got a lime crime liquid lipstick in pumpkin this shade is absolutely stunning one of my favorite lipsticks in my collection it's like a burnt orange red and I wore it yesterday um, when I went clubbing with my friends and it lasted all night the formula is absolutely great it lasts so long it's super matte and, oh, damn, it just looked so good. This shade is absolutely beautiful. Then I went to this store called A Plus Beauty, um, which is just near my school, and I got the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This foundation is a dewy finish. Um, I didn't know that when I bought it because it doesn't say, oh, it says Longwear Illuminating Foundation. Okay, <sighs> my mistake, but the coverage is great. This is full coverage and... Your skin is just really even and smooth. So I don't mind that it's dewy because when I bake, um, my face will be matte. But I do get oilier sooner than if I were to use a matte foundation. But it's okay because I really like the coverage. Um, and I'd rather have a full coverage foundation than a matte foundation. Then I got the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. And this is okay. Um, it's fine. But I definitely prefer my NYX Matte Setting Spray. Um... My makeup definitely lasts longer when I use my next one. So I got the LA Girl Pro foundation because I really want to try this, but I also needed a darker foundation to match my self tan because all my foundations were too light. And this is a pretty good match. Um, I'm wearing it today. And I self tanned for the first time. I used a gradual self tanning lotion. I was using a Tarte one and I had a travel size. 
So I went to Sephora to go buy the full size, which was $50, but they discontinued it. They don't sell it anymore. So I asked the lady at Sephora, which is the closest product they had to it that gave the same results because I really liked um, the results from the Tarte one. And she told me I should get the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. And I've used this twice and um, it gives the exact same finish as the Tarte one. It's really good. So basically a gradual self tanner is one that you have to apply consistently every day to maintain the tan and the tan will get darker over time um, when you continue to use it. So this is just a white lotion. And then when you rub it in your skin, it's just transparent and it will develop in four to eight hours, um, this one. And yeah, you just have to keep using it every day to get darker. I have instant tanners where you just apply to your skin and it gives you an instant tan. And those just don't really work. Um, they give you a slight tan um, that's barely noticeable and doesn't make any difference at all really because every time I use those, no one notices at all. Um, like when I am super tan now, all my friends um, have asked me, why are you so dark? Um, and just instant tanners just don't make much of a difference. Like honestly, just a waste of money. If you just want to get a fake tan or even just, you know, a more natural looking tan, you could still use um, a gradual self tanning lotion, but just apply it like, you know, every few days so that you don't get too dark or something because if you don't want a super dark tan. Um, and when using a self tanner, just make sure to always moisturize your skin every day um, because especially with a self tanning lotion, because if you don't moisturize your skin before with an actual moisturizer, um, and you apply this, it's just going to be really uneven and patchy and um, creating to dry spots, um, which happened to me. I did a moisturize and I applied it and it just like turned so bad. So yeah, make sure your skin is moisturized when you use self-tanner. But I've never tried a self-tanning mousse um, where you have to use a mitt. But I definitely do want to try like all the best self-tanners now like Saint-Tropez, Bondi Sands. Jamie told me I should really try Saint-Tropez because... Um, it's really amazing. So I'm just in a self-tanning frenzy. I have been wanting to self-tanner for a while now because um, being blonde now, I just have this like fantasy of being super tan and blonde and I'm gonna feel and look like a bombshell. <laughs> so um, I really like um, this self-tanner and I really recommend it. Um, and I really want to try other products from Vita Liberata, but like, it's really, really pricey. This was $38, by the way, because I didn't say, because self-tanning products are definitely not cheap. I got the Kat Von D Lolita Lip Duo that comes with Lolita and Lolita 2. And I have this list in my room on my wall of products I want to get at Sephora. And I always add stuff onto that list, um, but it's been on my wall for like two years now or something. So a really long time. And I finally have crossed something off my list, which was the Lita 2, because I haven't crossed off something off that list in like over six months. Because brands keep coming out with new stuff, so I just always wanted to buy the new stuff rather than the old stuff, because, you know, my list is old. Uh, but, oh, here's a swatch of Lolita 2 and then Lolita. Lolita 2 is just like lighter and more warm than Lolita. Um... So I just really want to finish that damn list. Only like half the stuff is crossed off that list. But then again, there's like 20 stuff on that list. Like a lot of products on that list. Um, but anyways, this is the end of the haul. This is everything I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I can't wait to buy more self tanning products and Kylie Cosmetics. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Follow me on all my social media. The links are down below, of course, if you'd like. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.